We are down at West Palm Beach. We are at Blast Masters when we are getting our bug eye nose and the rest of the car medium blasted. I'm with Steve Sanguinetti. He and his wife Deb own the place and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about media blasting and how to do it. We specialize mainly in automotive. We do a lot of cars and um, like everything else, there's pluses and minuses to everything. So in blasting uh, stuff like this, first off, you got to be careful that you don't warp the metal. So we've got a couple different techniques that we could use. We could switch to a different media. We can go with baking soda, which is the gentlest form of blasting. So how, how easy is it to warp the metal? I mean, you really need to know what you're doing or most people could do it without warping it? Yeah, most people could do it, but I mean, you know, there's, there's certain techniques. Obviously, you don't want to stay on one spot for any length of time. So essentially, you know, you'll move around as much as possible, you know, staying back and just, just watching it gently come off as opposed to getting instant gratification where you, you're right up on it. You know? okay. so, so heat heat is the enemy, not really the, the pressure or the, yeah, or the medium. Heat, heat is the enemy, but also pressure does affect it quite okay. a bit too. Yes, right. absolutely. Um, the only time we would switch to, to baking soda is, especially with something like this where it's really thin, and we, we'll check everything. Like physically, you can tell that this thing is fairly solid. You know, a lot of these cars will come in and just by putting your finger on it, you can tell that cheap man is ready to warm. Yeah. Mainly from somebody working on it, a kid maybe jumping on the car over the years, you know? Yeah. So we'll, we'll use baking soda on something like that and we'll blast the entire area that's off. And then we'll switch to media on, you know, on the corners, on the, on the edges. We'll use baking soda on fiberglass cars. We do a lot of Corvettes. Um, and we do a lot of uh, cars with aluminum, like the, you know, Healy's, Austin Healy's, the whole, most of the cars are aluminum. Yeah. So some of these race Porsches, you know, have a lot of aluminum power, so we'll definitely use baking soda just for that, you know? All right. But um, it's really, you know, you, you're never gonna warp anything with baking soda. Um, you've gotta maybe be more concerned with the air pressure as opposed to the media causing any okay. kind of warpage. All right. So what about, wh why don't I just take a, a DA sander with some 80 grit and just sand this in my garage myself? I mean, you could, and you know, that's how everybody did it years ago. But I mean, the detail that you can get from blasting, I mean, you're going to have a hard time getting into areas like this, okay? Yeah. Um, if, if the thing's been painted six times, you're going through six layers of paint, six layers of primer, plus body filler, you could be working on this with a DA for, you know, half a day. More than an hour and a half. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's it, it does do a great job wherever you've got you know, tiny areas that you can't really get in with the DA along the edge here, around this headlight bucket. So you do a lot less damage to the metal a lot, too. A lot less damage, yeah. you know, and, and you can get really clean metal from doing it. Right. Uh, a lot of times you'll sand it, and if you were to look at that piece of metal really up close, there's still pockets of paint w within that metal because metal's porous, you know, yeah. to some extent, depending on what, what's been done to it over yeah. the years. We have a lot of guys that, you know, want to restore the vehicle, but they don't want to pull everything apart. They want to bring it to us with the steering column in it. They want to bring it to us with, you know. As a roller. Uh, yeah, yeah, as a roller, you okay. know, where you can't do that with dipping, you know. Um, and I understand that, I mean, my painter said, do not bring me anything that's been dipped because I don't want to deal with trying to warranty the, 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 the acid or what the, it's actually an alkaline that they use right. uh, coming out of the seams as I'm trying to paint that. So that, apparently that's a pretty major concern. It, it with is. And we've had a couple of clients that definitely have voiced that opinion that they've had cars done to where after it's been painted, the stuff seeps out of the joints, you know? Yeah. Another disadvantage to dipping is, you know, if you get that chemical in the rockers, how do you go and coat, you know, you can't yeah. get primer back up in your rocker panels unless you drill up multiple holes in it. So. Yeah. That's also another concern. Okay, you know? and, and some of that some of that seam sealer and stuff, uh, media, media blasting will leave some of that on if you want or you can take it off. Exactly. You have that option, right? Exactly, it, it really so. does. Yeah. All right, so how long does it take to, this is a, a nose for a bug eye sprite, how long does it take to media blast this inside and out? Inside and out, this will maybe be an hour and a half to two hour job. All right, and Just what is Just because it? we're gonna be really gentle. We're not gonna go aggressive on this, you know? It's yeah, it's a very big, big, ex big expansive area, piece of metal. Area. And, you know, sometimes it's fine if there's a lot of bracing on the inside. This thing doesn't have a lot of bracing. It's just one big piece of sheet metal. So you gotta be really careful. Okay. So 
Yeah, this will take us maybe an hour and a half, two hours. And what is a rough idea, catching you off guard here, but what's a rough idea? What would it cost to have something like this done? About 300 bucks to blast it. Okay, and then, but you need to prime this immediately. You, you I mean, do not pass go. No. Don't drag it home and prime it. You, exactly. you, you do that right here we do that though. right here. We prime everything the day that we blast it. So okay. yeah, because especially in South Florida, I mean, just the humidity alone yeah. is gonna yeah. do a number on it. So if you wanna get the bottom of the car done, it really needs to be on the rotisserie. There's okay. no way we can get it up high enough to lay on there and blast it with this massive hose that we use. On a rotisserie, it's perfect, you know? Okay. But it does take a lot longer. Yeah. You know, because now you're looking at the entire bottom of the car, you know? Yeah. So, no. rotisserie jobs usually will run. Um, we, we could sometimes spend uh, 10, 15 hours on a rotisserie car. If okay. it's a Chevelle or something yeah. that size. Yeah, bug eyes are different, yeah. different yeah, than, exactly. a, than, a, than a Nomad or exactly. a, a Ford Station <laughs> wagon or a pickup truck. Yep. All right, thanks for telling us all about this and explaining it to us. Let's get started. As usual, we got our work cut out for us. Well, the one thing we're getting in meteor blasting, you blasted, you know exactly where all the damage is. So, um, a lot of times, if you were to sand this, you, you know, unless you used a grinder and got it done, but even where somebody had a one of those little body hammers, you would never get the um, bondo body filler out of these little spots. So that's one of the pluses of meteor blasting. Um, one thing you always always have to remember. And I see a lot of guys on TV doing this. Never put your beer hands on fresh metal. You you will end up with a rusted handprint on your primer. I think I just did that, didn't I? Yes, but you, <laughs> you're maybe not going to use this as you said. But I mean, yes, you know. But you know, we, we wear gloves religiously in the shop here. We never touch beer metal with our hands. And it's funny because you know, if you know, Tim knows this, uh, you know. We have clients that the first thing they'll come in and, oh, this is my hood, and they'll rub their hands right over. <laughs> but, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. You want yeah. to see what it looks yeah. like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so nice, I want to touch it. <laughs> Not touching it is one of the reasons we need to prime it right away, and we'll load it up on the trailer, we'll get it home and get to work on it. All right, thanks to Steve, Deb, and the crew at Blastmasters. We now have our Bug Eye Sprite project media blasted and primed, and now it's time to take it back home and get started on some metal work. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see the next step on this project and a whole bunch more, go to ClassicMotorsports.com. Support brands that support Classic Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit CRCIndustries.com to learn more.